Tukiendelea ni kwa mhubiri anayekabiliwa na utata Paul Mackenzie na washtakiwa wenza tsinawani wataendelea kuzuiliwa korokoroni hadi machi tano mwaka huu wakati mahakama kuu itakapotoa uamuzi kuhusu ombi lake la kuachiliwa kwa dhamana. Kwingine ko mfanyikazi wa zamani wa shirika la posta humo nchini amehukumiwa kifungo cha miaka mitatu gerezani kwa kuiba shilingi milioni kumi na mbili kutoka kwa shirika hilo. Habari zaidi ni katika mizani yetu ya haki. Washukiwa hao ambao wanakabiliwa na mashtaka 238 ya kuwa bila kukusudia katika msitu wa Shakaola sasa watajua hatuma yao katika muda wa majuma mawili yajayo Viongozi wa mashtaka katika kesi hiyo wameiomba mahakama kuanyima bondi washukiwa wao kwani huenda wakatoroka You can envisage a situation where a person or persons are charged with 238 counts of manslaughter And by that very fact I do not need to belabor the point of the seriousness of the offense that is before this court hata hivyo mawakili wa washukiwa hao wakiongozwa na Wiklif Makasembo walimwambia hakimu mkuu Alex Tuku kupuuzilia wasilisho la upande wa mashtaka wakidai wateja wao wanateseka korokoroni The hunger strike they're talking about was triggered by the state when they charged them or placed them before honorable your brother honorable Shikanda without any formal charging they had to go on strike to know why they were in court what are being detained so it is a step that provoked them kesi hiyo itatajwa mnamo machi 5 mwaka huu hayo ya kijiri joseph aris kipchoge amehukumiwa kifungo gerezani kwa wizi wa shilingi milioni 12 kutoka shirika la posta nchini the recommendation was that the accused person be given a non custodial sentence however i quick to note that the report is not binding to this court Mawakili wake walikuwa wameomba mahakama kumpa kifungo cha nje lakini Hakimu Ben Makihubi alimhukumu kifungo cha miaka mitatu pasi na fursa ya kutoa dhamana So I've considered all that I've also considered that the accused person is a first offender so I'll hereby sentence him to serve three years three years imprisonment Kwingineko mahakama kuu ya milimani imetoa amri ya kumzuia mfanyabiashara Cleofa Shimanyula kuendelea kutoa matamshi ya kumdhi yake seneta Boni Kalwale familia yake au watoto wake Jaji Mulo pia ameagiza kesi hiyo iliyowasilishwa na seneta Boni Kalwale katika mahakama ya milimani dhidi ya mfanyabiashara huyo ihamishwe hadi mahakama kuu ya Kakamega ambapo tukio hilo lilitokea hapo jana seneta huyo aliwasilisha kesi hiyo mahakamani akitaka kufidiwa shilingi bilioni moja nukta tano. na hatimaye mwanaume mmoja ameshtakiwa kwa kujifanya wakili wa mahakama kuu Simon Gidhumbugu anadaiwa kuandika barua ya kutaka majibu kutoka kwa Joseph Maina Mwangi na kutumia kampuni ya wakili ya Wini Ochwal you know the issue of bail and bond we ask the court to be guided by the bail and bond policy Matayarisho ya kesi hiyo yamepangiwa kufanywa mnamo machi 5 mwaka huu. The accused may be released on bond of 100,000 shillings, eventually to the seller of the cash bill of equivalent amount of 100,000 shillings. Rusu Mboi Darubini